happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Even in solution. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us, we have the Retekis TR630. This is a portable mini boombox with an AM FM radio, CD, tape, and MP3 player, plus recorder. You can find these retailing on Amazon for a total of $62.99. I got mine on sale with a 10% off coupon, bringing the price down to 56 bucks. It's a cool stereo radio. I do like it. So let's check it out. Retechus comes in this really large box. Doesn't quite fit on my camera. There's a little blurb of information. It is the FM standard. AM is not so standard. It'd be nice to see that at 1710 instead of 1600. Mine went up to 1620, just for your information. And it's pretty much the box. Oh. Their contact information is right there. They got their Facebook page, their email, and their website. Okay, so I'm going to put the box aside and show you what came inside the box. All kinds of goodies. Number one, star of the show, the Retech is TR630. I really like it. I reviewed the white mini boom box they had, and this one's just way better. <laughs> I just love it. Uh, you also get... Uh, dedicated AC cord, which to be honest with you is something I'll be using all the time with this radio because right now it's portable mode and it takes six D cell batteries to power this bad boy and it makes it pretty heavy. So I'd rather I just plug it in. <laughs> and then uh, you get a little remote, uh, which you might lose. <laughs> it's little. It's nice to have a lanyard or something and you can hook it to the device or something. But uh, yeah, here you go. It's got all your standard controls. Uh, it actually has one extra feature where you can enter in the track you want to jump to. That's pretty handy. And if you look here, record, yes. There's a record feature. I'll explain that on the radio. And then last but not least, we get a manual, uh, which is pretty easy to go through. I'm just going to move the radio out of frame so we can do that. I have my tripod way up high. Uh, so let's go ahead and just flip through this. As you can see, it's got quite a bit here in the contents, but it's only a few pages long. So I'm just going to open this up for posterity, and hopefully you guys can zoom in and see. I guess I should just bring it up close here. And that way you guys can see what's going on. Location of controls. There you go, 28 different things, <laughs> which I probably won't cover them all. There's the display and the different things on the display. Okay, there's the remote and what the remote does, like I mentioned to you. Nice having it, right? Let's see here. Um, oops, I guess I skipped the page. I did. Okay, so remote control operation. I can't get any closer to the camera than this. Let's see, there we go. CD, TF card playback operation, repeat modes, cool. Program operation, you can program a series of different tracks you want to play instead of just straight through. Recording operation, there you go. Freeze frame it if you need to. And we're almost done with this manual. Here you go, cassette player, recording operation. This thing has a microphone, which is great. Care and maintenance. And down here, are some specifications for the Radio Geek and you. <laughs> There you are. Okay, I think we're done with this manual. Over here is just safety stuff. Okay, so there it is. We're done. I'd like to show that. Get that out of the way. So here it is, the TR630. Loving this beast. Um, it doesn't quite fit full frame on my video, but yeah, we'll go through it. <laughs> Real quick, though, before I get started, I do want to uh, announce something here from Retechus. They're having a 10th anniversary uh, event, so it's really cool. And I printed it out because I was emailing them about features of this because I didn't know what's, what it could do because I had certain media I couldn't test uh, about recording off the tape and doing certain things. And uh, they uh, told me they're having an event along with the email responses I got. So here's what they said. On November 11th, uh, let's see, the 1st of November is their 10th year anniversary. So they're going to have a 10-day event, it looks like, or maybe 11-day event. 
uh, starting on October 21st, but technically the 20th, because you'll see something here in a second. All radio products will be offered with big discount, and some free products will be given away to thank the customers who support and like Retechus. Well, when I saw that, I emailed them back. How do we win free products? Because everybody's going to want to know that, right? It says, yes, we will have a live broadcast on YouTube and Facebook on October 20th, it looks like, from 7 to 9 p.m. Pacific time, at which time we will choose the two with the most likes each in YouTube and Facebook live comment section. So I guess you comment in there. I'm not sure about the like thing, but uh, I don't know if you have to say something witty or something. I don't know. Uh, and they're going to give away uh, four TR630, so two in the YouTube channel and two in the Facebook channel. <clears throat> I think that's pretty awesome for Retechus to do this. So there you go. Uh, don't miss out. You'll get this video before this starts, so awesome. All right, so let's get to the start of the show, this six, TR630. Um, yeah, so buy with the coupon for sure. Uh, get yourself a great deal. This thing is, I love it. I know there's a lot of these different mini, mini boom boxes out there, but being able to play from micro SD and record to it, you're going to like that feature. So dimension-wise, uh, we have a depth from front to back of 9.5 inches. We have a width from end to end here, 10 and 3 eighths of an inch. And we have a height from top to bottom, 5.5 inches. Pretty awesome. Size comparison, well, let's lay stuff on it. <laughs> There's a CC Skywave. There you go, you can see it dwarfs it. That's why my tripod's as high as I can get it. There's CC Pocket in the house. There you go. And of course, we have a deck of cards, in case you don't have those two radios. Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. Whoa, he stopped spinning. Spin it as fast as he can. <laughs> he loves Ruteka's mini boom boxes from... China land, he's Iron Man. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, I love doing that. So features of the TR-630. I just want to call it 360, but it's a 630. <laughs> uh, it's got a built-in handle. Woohoo! You need this, especially with six diesel batteries in it. <laughs> it's got some vented areas here. When you get the AC plugged in, it's got a transformer, of course. Um, it's pretty nice. I'll just leave the handle up to keep it cooling. Uh, we'll look at the features right on top here. Uh, we have a headphone jack. We'll go over the headphone experience. Uh, no low-level hiss, which is fantastic. Warning FM radio expects strong lows, moderate uh, mids, and decent highs, but no stereo. There's no FM stereo on the radio, which is unfortunate because we have a stereo radio. I don't understand that, Ritekis. If you could invest a little extra on a DSP radio chip, because there's a lot out there that do FM stereo, that'd be fantastic for the radio. You have a lot of people that would like that. Okay, so uh, AM, it's got a flat neutral tone. Good for news talk radio. So if you're using headphones on AM, you'll love it. Again, no low-level low, no low level hiss. So you can turn that volume all the way down as quiet as you want and not worry about anything. Uh, MP3 playback uh, from the USB 2.0 or the micro SD card slot. I expect strong lows, strong mids, moderate highs, and stereo playback. Same with the CD and similar with the tape. The only thing with the tape, though, is you have no stereo. You do have stereo playback with the CD. So something to think about uh, when you have this tape deck. If you have stereo tapes, well, you're not going to have stereo playback, unfortunately. Uh, here we have the uh, bass boost button, which is uh, pretty good. It adds a lot of loudness and deep, uh, deep uh, bass tones to this radio. It's actually too much sometimes, so I just leave it off most of the time. <laughs> uh, opening this door up here. Uh, you're greeted with the USB 2.0 port and the micro SD card slot. I put in a 16 gig. It didn't mention how big a card it can take, but I'm going to guess at 32 gigabytes. Don't go any larger, otherwise you'll probably have problems. So 16 gigs is what I like to use, personally. I loaded up some things, and I'll show you how the record feature works. So there's that. Okay, let's keep moving. So side of the radio. Okay, left-hand side, we have the selector for function, or the fun selector. <laughs> Uh, so all the way to the left is radio. Right now we're on a tape mode and it turns the radio off, or you can use a tape deck. If I move it to the right, it'll get to the USB micro SD card, and all the way to the right we have the CD mode. Nice. So top of the radio, you can see we have volume knob here, real smooth control, and tuning knob. This one has a little bit more resistance to it. Tape features, pause, stop, eject, fast forward. Uh, we have... Rewind and fast rewind. 
play, and record. Now the tape player will record the CD uh, in mono, I believe. So it records everything in CD. Uh, it'll record, excuse me, from the CD, the USB or SD card slot, and the microphone, which is pretty awesome, um, uh, and the radio. So it'll record AM, FM radio with the tape. So that's important because the micro SD card slot uh, record feature does not record the radio. I wish it did. That's another thing I wish this did, but still recording is a lot of fun. I'll show you that. So the tape player, expect you can record again. I'm looking at the wrong line here. Record the radio, CD, the USB card, SD card slot, and the microphone. But playback in mono only. So there you go. All right, let's go to the front. Where are the buttons? Yes. So the front of the radio, the business end. We have the record button, which is pretty awesome. This, when you press this, uh, it'll record the SD or USB. And uh, it'll record the CD in stereo, cassettes in mono, and the microphone. So that's pretty nice. It can record those uh, items. I love to be able to record the CDs. You can convert your CDs to digital files pretty easily with this control. I'll show you how that works. Very simple. Um, it's not able to record the radio, like I mentioned. Um, and when it's uh, recording, it records in one big file. Uh, and it records at 120 kilobits per second at a frequency of 41.1 kilohertz on all three modes. Here we have a previous and next, and of course we have fast forward and rewind with those buttons. Over here we have the repeat button, which is repeat same track, repeat uh, the entire folder, and then repeat entire CD ROM or CD disk. So that's nice. Play pause, uh, that's a nice feature to have. Uh, you need that play pause feature because when you are using the micro SD card slot, it defaults to the music folders. If you want to hear what you recorded, you have to press and hold the pause play button. You have to do that again to access the three different recording files. So what it does, or folders, it restores anything you recorded off the CD to a special folder, anything off the microphone to a special folder, and of course, anything off the tape to its own folder. So you got to press and hold each time to navigate those folders on the pause play. And then of course, we have stop feature. And again, the program, I didn't mention that, but you can program your uh, different tracks to play as well. There's a tape in the front. We have two three inch speakers here that sound pretty good. They're far enough away and aimed away from each other so you get some nice stereo separation. Okay, I can go back to the top of the radio. We got the antenna, which is pretty neat for the FM. It goes all the way up and it has a pivot to it. There you go. So you can go 360 all the way around the radio. Um, this bad boy is 14 and a quarter inches. It's decent. The radio it did an average uh, FM reception. Don't expect a whole lot. We'll talk about that in a moment. We're almost there. And then we'll start turning this on and demoing it. Just a lot to go over feature-wise. So thanks for hanging in there. A few more minutes and we'll start jamming away. So on the back of this radio, we're going to lift this up. We have the AC input. And on the bottom of the radio, let's so get this over. There we go. That's nice, turning it on. We have the bottom of the radio where you have your 6D cell battery compartment and the label upside down. I'm not going to try to move it around. This thing's just a tank. Or maybe I will. Let's try it without turning the radio on. Flipping it over as best I can. There we go. And you can read the information there. Awesome. Okay, setting it down. <laughs> all right, cool. So let's fire this thing up. Yeah. So you got to see all that. So FM reception report real quick. Uh, it was okay to good. 48 stations found. FM selectivity was okay to good. That's a two and a half star rating. It's uh, it's like an analog radio almost. Even though it's a DSP chip, uh, it's on par with something like this. Uh, but could be because it needs a longer antenna. Um, that's my guess. So uh, that's your FM reception report and it, no FM stereo. So uh, I'll be using this mainly as an AM receiver for local stations. If I'm going to use it for the radio, mainly use it for the, the media playback. So let's get into having some fun. So we're going to turn it on to the um, micro SD. So it's one, one in there and our little display lights up. We got a power LED indicator in stereo. Beautiful. I got a mono microphone, so you're probably not going to pick that up. 
but we're getting lapse time. Shows what mode we're in, MP3 mode. You can fast forward. Press and hold. Nice. We can rewind. Kind of hold it up here. Get our bass boost. Show that to you in a second. Cool. So you can see, yeah, the remote works real easy. Um, I'm pretty close to it, but yeah, I'm sure it can work from, you know, 20 feet away. Not a big deal. Um, handy. Loving that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this thing's like great. Uh, man, handling it around. So, let's see. Um, we did that. We can uh, demo the tape, so let's go ahead and do that. So I have a tape in there. Hit play, just like anything. Simple. See if you can hear it playing. It's got an elapsed time on there. That's nice. Pilot the navigator. Pilot the navigator. Sighted same. Sight same. I think that's very funny, but I'm only three and a half years old. If you want to record this, um, which is pretty cool, just just press record. And now in record mode. Says record, flashing card. Now look, Matilda, will you please go home? I can't. I'll get lost. Oh, no, you won't. The train stops at every station. Why does it stop at every station, Uncle Louie? Because it's a milk train. Do we have to milk it at every station? <laughs> How do you like a little kid? Three and a half years old wants to know if you have to milk a train. Milk a train, train, milk a train. It's impossible. You, you can't milk a train. That's silly. How are they going to get a big train to sit on a little stool? Ah! Oh, look, Matilda, please. Don't worry, Uncle Louie. He's trying to get a pair of nylon stockings. You can get a pair of nylon stockings from my friend Betty Grable. How do you know she has nylons? Because that's where I saw her for her money. The Bank of America never had branches like that. <laughs> Matilda, uh, maybe you can help Uncle Louie. Do you oh. really know Betty Grable? Yeah. 
Here's a picture of us on a bicycle. Okay, so you get the idea. You can record tapes, which is fantastic. So you can take all your cassette tapes and move it to micro SD uh, at that rate of 120 kilobits per second and uh, 44.1 kilohertz. Uh, really nice to have. Uh, and of course, if you hit record here, you can record the radio, which is neat if you got blank cassette tapes laying around. I do not, so I wasn't able to try that out. Of course, if you were uh, mixing stuff and you still got a tape deck and you're using, you can actually record from the CD player to the tape uh, and your micro SD card to the tape, which I don't know why you do that, but maybe you're sampling something. I don't know. It'd be interesting to know. You guys let me know what you would use that feature for. But there's a tape deck, uh, so let's go ahead and go to the CD-ROM. I'm just going to show you here, open that up. It's a pretty basic setup. As you can see, you just have to pull it out. It's got a press on spindle. Okay, pretty basic there. Close it. Can't get the little finger spot there. And then we're going to turn it to CD. It's all the way forward. Now I did notice this puts out a lot of RFI. If you're next to another radio and you initiate the CD, it does produce a lot of RFI. So we're starting up the CD. Vic Carter, Master Detective. Now when you start a recording, there's like a delay, so it cuts off the beginning. So the best way to do it is to stop. And then we're just going to go uh, turn it off, then we're going to go back to CD. And then oh, to turn to start the CD with the recording process, you just actually press record here. So we're not going to hit play, we're just going to hit record. Nick Carter, Master Detective. So it starts the CD and starts recording. You can see it says recording there. And it's showing the card symbol that's using the SD card. This is the story of and it's recording the, the CD. As one of the most daring and resourceful characters in the history of detective fiction. A man whose name has become a symbol of the triumph of right and justice over the sinister forces of crime and lawlessness. Nick Carter... Master Detective! Today's exciting adventure, the life and death search for a man who didn't see a murder that was not yet discovered. The witness saw nothing. <laughs> Jefferson Heights is a suburb of the city that's still half country. Only a few houses are sprinkled. Road. Press and hold to stop Lundy recording. Lane is the lonesomest of all. There is a small white cottage at the end of Lundy Lane, and in it, Mrs. Peter Grogan, a small okay. white-haired lady. So when it's flashing on there, that means repeat entire disc, or repeat uh, same track. I think I just stopped something. Okay. All right, so let's go to the, um, show you the uh, record feature now. So... We got to do all the other stuff, so we're going to go ahead and just press and hold. I got to go out of this. Go to SD mode. So when you're in this mode, you can actually hit record. Testing the Retech is TR630. This radio rocks. Awesome. <laughs> and then press record again. Now it won't play it, um, so to get to the recorded files, just press and hold play. Testing the microphone of the TR630, we're about a distance of a foot away. Just seeing how the microphone's picking up my voice. Okay. Testing the Retech is TR630, this radio rocks, awesome. That was about two and a half feet away. So it played the two microphone checks or record tracks recorded. So we're gonna press this pause play again. Nick Carter, Master Detective. And now we're playing that recorded clip from the CD. Now it's on the SD card. Nice. He says MP3 mode. This is the story of a there man you go. The world over as one of the most and it shows we're in the recorded files. A man whose name has become a symbol of the triumph of right and justice over the sinister forces of crime and lawlessness. Nick Carter, Master Detective. Nick Carter, Master Detective. 
That was me playing. <laughs> cool. Nick Carter, Master Detective. Okay, so we know that. Let's go to the uh, tape. So this is the recorded files that I recorded from the tape. Wait a minute. Why didn't she kiss you on the lips? Well, she's new at the post office, and she can't find the right zone. The right zone. <laughs> Matilda, what are you doing out of school? My teacher sent me home because I kissed a little boy. You kissed a boy? Well, it wasn't exactly a kiss. We were eating the same liquid stick, and I chewed past my hair. <laughs> now look, Matilda, will you please go home? I can't. I'll get lost. Oh, no, you won't. The train stops at every station. Why does it stop at every station, Uncle Louie? Because it's a milk train. Do we have to milk it at every station? <laughs> How do you like a little kid? Three and a half years yeah. old. What's to know if you have to milk a train? Milk a train, train, milk a train. It's impossible. You, you can't milk a train. That's silly. How are they going to get a big train? Uncle Louie, he's trying to get a pair of nylon stockings. So pretty cool. Um, so you can do your tapes. Now we're back to the SD card play. Okay, so you got that idea. We'll go to the radio real quick, and then we'll do final thoughts on the TR630. Thanks for hanging there with me. This thing is a beast. I love it. I'm absolutely... This is going to be my main radio uh, for playing media. I really enjoy the stereo sound on the CD and MP3, and the ability to take my tapes now and put them to a micro SD for playback right on the device if I want to. So, of course, um, we want to turn this off position and back all the way to the all the way to the left there. Got a radio. And I don't think I showed you on the right hand side is the band select AM FM. If you notice, they use a leaf symbol, which is kind of cool. We're going to put that in AM. We're going to go ahead and turn this up. Start at the bottom of the band. Just show you how it tunes real quick. Seems information on today's breaking news. Hannity is on right now. All right, 25 to the top of the hour, 800 Sean, if you want to be a part of the program, our good friend. Children are involved. If you're a father and want to protect your role in your children's lives, remember Cordell and Cordell. We've helped men with matters like these for 30 years, and we'd love to help you. Contact Cordell and Cordell to schedule an appointment with one of them. And the last person to leave the community. It's a good opportunity for Luke Hutchinson to kind of settle things down. I don't know if he's going to call a timeout now. We've got two minutes on the clock. Just talk about when you're going to pull the goaltender, what's going to happen. Here for hockey season, the official Blackhawks app. Connect with the Blackhawks all year long. He's not talking even about gun control. He's talking should be. The attempt to preserve life because life is just that valuable. And a society that starts... Town. What's this? You're smiling because your car smells amazing. Ooh. You just installed a Febreze... Your 780 WBBM. It's pretty much good on locals. Uh, maybe some semi-locals during the day and evening. Those lights can stay red for as long as they like. Reducing four grams from a felony to a misdemeanor. Justin, you're talking about finishing and executing. It seems five to start a new program called the Physician Assistant Training Program, and it was highly successful. We were at firefighter Thomas Royd's died. Once he was at a. I never done. feel like that. But hey, maybe a sometimes maybe a we just get in our own way, you know. Hey, listen, the towel is. During pipeline construction can be created. And an offsetting cold winter to consume that fuel that. And they're going to like it and they're going to share it. And there was no real discrimination. Therefore, enjoyed the mysteries. 
Tuesdays and Fridays for the Sorrowful Mysteries, Wednesdays and Thursdays. CHHA, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. So yeah, you're going to pick up stations up to 500 miles away. Mine goes up to 16, 20, 16, 30. Sounds like 16, 30 right here. Okay, you get the idea. We're done. Cool. There it is, the TR630. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it takes quite a bit to move this thing around. <laughs> is it worth the, uh, what did I pay, 56 bucks? Yeah, it's worth about 50 bucks, I think. Um, feels real sturdy. Um, believe it or not, this thing is definitely uh, worthy. Turn that off. I don't forget. Um, oh, the money, because they did put a lot of effort into this. And it, you can tell, fit and finish is nice. Uh, it does not feel cheap whatsoever. Uh, again, it's nice built-in handle. Should be using that more. <laughs> Um, yeah, I do like the styling it is nice. I like this little old school graphite treatment. <laughs> and I like the antenna how it swivels out. I like the idea I can record my CDs and my tapes or my microphone for audio source. So if you had a shortwave, little shortwave radio, you could put it right next to, uh, I think it's one of the speakers has the microphone. You can figure that out, which one. And, um, yeah, then you could record your shortwave broadcasts with the micro SD. Just hit record. And boom, there you go. And you can have this plugged into the wall and uh, perfect recorder. So you got that all there, all in one package. So hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a like if you did. Two, uh, if you like Retecus Radios, want to see more, subscribe, hit the bell icon. And three, comment below what you think about the TR630. Uh, do you love it? Do you not need it? Do you want to buy something else? Let me know. And of course, don't forget about their anniversary. Um, yeah, check out their big discounts. They're having the, all that during that whole 10-day period on Amazon. If I find some good deals, I'll post them. But uh, there you go. And then, of course, don't miss out on their live broadcast and see what that's about, about giving away four of these radios. Awesome. All right, guys, take care, and we'll see you in my next video.